There are a handful of careers where I consistently see people getting to six figures in a very short amount of time. Now, almost by definition, these careers can't include going to college or some sort of long training process because then it would take way too long to get to six figures. You basically have to hit the ground running, get a job right out of high school and start getting raises as fast as you can. And in today's video, I am not only going to share with you which careers these are, but I'm going to tell you approximately how long it would take you to get to six figures. So if you appreciate this type of content, make sure to let me know by vigorously pounding the like button and let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so first one on the list is going to be an artistic career, which is web designer. Now this can also be known as UX or UI design. Sometimes it's a combination of both. UI is a little bit more artistic and UX is a little bit more analytical. But with this one, you can get to six figures after graduating from high school in the United States in about four to five years. So you would be about 22 to 23 years old. Now, if you look up Glassdoor, they're gonna show you that web designers make about $92,000 a year. And if you type in web design on LinkedIn, there's a lot of demand for it. 65 5,000 results at the entry level. Next one on the list is going to be real estate agent. Now this one is very entrepreneurial and it's also relatively competitive. Everyone knows what this is. It's basically where you facilitate the buying and selling of houses. So with this one, there's a lot of people who try to become full-time real estate agents and they fail. There's a lot of other people who basically try to do real estate part-time and then every once in a while, if their family's gonna buy a house, they'll act as their real estate agent. And then there is a small amount of people who are very successful as real estate agents. So there is a lot of survivorship bias here it's definitely not for everybody but with that being said real estate agents make about hundred and thirty six thousand dollars a year according to Glassdoor and if you are successful as a real estate agent you can get to that six-figure level in about three to four years so you'd be 21 or 22 years old next one on the list is going to be an instructional designer this is a relatively niche career but I really like it it's an up-and-comer and basically instructional design is where you help to design educational content on the internet sometimes this might be videos and sometimes Sometimes it might be something that you're actually interacting with, like you're answering questions like a quiz, for instance. But with this one, you can make it to six figures in about three to four years. So you could be 21 to 22 years old. According to Glassdoor, instructional designers make about $101,000 a year. And if you type in instructional design on LinkedIn, you're gonna see about 14,000 results at the entry level. Next one on the list is going to be information technology. And this is a very broad terminology, to be honest with you. There's so many different careers and sub careers that you can go into in IT. But with that being said, in IT, let's say you start off as an 18 year old, you get some certs and you get your first job in about a half year, something like that. You could get to six figures within three to four years. So you'd be 21 to 22 years old. This is one where a lot of people do choose to go to college and that probably gives you a little bit of an advantage, but you do not have to go to college in order to get into IT. Now, according to Glassdoor, if you type in information technology, it shows $82,000 a year. But like I said, there's a ton of different specialties. If you go towards the specialties that pay better, you can easily make it to six figures around the 21 to 22 year old mark. And if you type in information technology on LinkedIn, you see there's 181,000 results at the entry level. Next one on the list is going to be a quality assurance analyst. And this is basically somebody who sort of like works out the bugs in computer programs, software, websites, etc. before they go live so you save a lot of time and effort for the company and you also make the customers happy because they don't have to deal with a bunch of bugs now with this one you can also make it to that six-figure level in about three to four years so around the 21 to 22 year old mark and according to Glassdoor a QA analyst or quality assurance analyst makes about $98,000 a year on average and if you type in quality assurance on LinkedIn at the entry level you're gonna see hundred and sixty seven thousand results Next one on the list is gonna be one of my favorite ones, which is digital marketing. Now, again, this is kind of broad and it covers like a bunch of different areas. You can go down, you can do SEO, which is search engine optimization. You can do pay-per-click, which is basically the ads you see on Google. You can do Facebook ads, TikTok ads, et cetera. There's many different routes that you can go down. And some of them are going to be more high paying than others. Some of them are gonna be more artistic than others. So it really depends on what you want. But with that being said, if you go for the high paying ones, you can easily make it to six figures within three to four years. So you can make it there around 21 to 22 years old. And according to Glassdoor, digital marketers overall make around $84,000 a year. And if you type in digital marketing on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 105,000 results at the entry level. Next one on the list we're gonna talk about is a trade career business owner. Now, this gets a little bit complicated because different states have different rules for trades. For some states, you have to go to trade school or you have to do an apprenticeship, or maybe there's a really long licensing process. For other states, you 
you can start working right away. Another thing that complicates things is whether your state or region is union or non-union. So again, this can really complicate things and it really depends on where you live. But with that being said, if you live in a really business friendly state that also has a lot of opportunity, opening your own trade business can be phenomenally profitable. And there's some types of trade careers that are much more regulated than others. Now there's a bunch of different ones out there. There's plumbers, there's HVAC, which is heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. There's electricians, there's welders, there's all kinds of different options out there. And with this one, as a small business owner, you can make it to that six figure level within two to three years. Now, one of the easiest ones to get into is gonna be a truck driver. And truck drivers make about $64,000 a year on average, but if you own your own truck, you can easily make it to that six figure level. And if you type in truck driver on LinkedIn, search for jobs, you're gonna see 144,000 results at the entry level. Next one on the list is going to be cybersecurity. And this is another one you can go into without going to college, but some people choose to go to college and that does help. And cybersecurity is becoming more and more important as data becomes more and more important because you have to protect that data. There's been tons of scandals where data has been breached and it costs companies millions or even billions of dollars. So with cybersecurity is a little bit harder to break into than something like IT, for instance. But with that being said, you can get to that six figure level fast. We're talking in two to three years. So how much does cyber security in general make about $96,000 a year. And if you type in cybersecurity on LinkedIn, you're going to see 59,000 results at the entry level. Next one on the list is going to be data analyst. Now, this is another one a little bit harder to break into, takes a little bit longer than some of the other ones that I'm going to mention on this list. But with that being said, if you can get that first data analyst job within a year after graduating high school, I think you can make it to six figures within two to three years. So 20 to 21 years old. And data analysts make about $95,000 a year. Now, now, if you type this one in on LinkedIn, you're going to see a ridiculous amount of demand, 242,000 jobs at the entry level. Next one on the list is one of my favorite ones, mentioned this many times on the channel, it's basically a meme at this point, that is going to be software developer. So if you're really good at self-teaching or you're able to go through a boot camp, something along those lines to get your first job, you know, maybe six months after graduating high school or nine months, I believe you can make it to the six figure level within one to two years. So at 19 to 20 years old. Now, some software developer jobs are going to be more profitable than others. So you'd wanna go in the direction of the ones that obviously make you more money. But with that being said, if you look up software developer, it's $109,000 a year. And also in the technology industry, you have like total compensation. So sometimes you get paid in stocks and bonuses and all kinds of stuff like that. And if you type in software developer on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 175,000 results at the entry level. Really good stuff. Next one on the list kind of goes without saying, this is not gonna be for everybody, but opening your own business right after high school. This is pretty rare. Most people need to get some experience, build some skills, but if you are able to open your own business right after high school and you're successful with it, you can get to six figures incredibly fast. So this one is gonna range anywhere from like six months to four years. So I'd say 18 to 22 years old, because chances are your first few businesses are gonna fail. And finally, the number one career on the list to get the six figures, the absolute fast this one is number one that is going to be tech sales it is absolutely bananas how fast people are getting to six figures in tech sales with this one it is very likely you can get to six figures within one to two years after graduating I've done a bunch of interviews with people who have gotten into tech sales on my channel you can check out the playlist I'll have it pop up on the screen and there are many different examples of people getting into tech sales in like one to two months with zero experience some of them get into tech sales right after graduating high school and of course it's not for everybody but if you're somebody who has a knack for it you can get to that six figure level easily so technology sales in general makes about $106,000 a year. If you type in technology sales on LinkedIn, you're going to see 80,000 results at the entry level and business development, which is the other name for it. It's business development representative and sales development representative. You're going to see about 354,000 results totally crazy. And that's all at the entry level, right? So there are some ridiculous examples in tech sales. For instance, Della, I just interviewed her on the channel. She went from no tech sales experience to over $100,000 a year job in about one and a half months. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. That is just phenomenal. Now, is that typical going right into your first tech sales job at over 100,000? No, that's not typical. Usually that will be your second job. Or if you stay with the first company, maybe your second year. But yeah, all the people that I've interviewed on my channel recommend course careers. That's what most of them used. And I will put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. They have some free training. You can check it out, see what it's all about, see if you like tech sales and if you want to use their 
service because they get you interviews and they train you how to do tech sales. You can use my coupon code Shane50. I'll put that down in the description below. And also check out that interview with Della right here because it's really awesome and inspirational. Thank you.